Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady and today I am going to show you how to transform winter interest containers into beautiful, bountiful pots for the summer. Now behind me I have a big terracotta pot that's right next to the hose. I actually have a matching pair and I try to always plant them pretty similarly for the season. I am going to transplant these containers because they have hardy palms in them and they uh, are full of parsley that's bolting and that is really important forage for native swallowtail caterpillars. So I'm not going to discard these containers, I'm just going to pull them out and then transplant them somewhere else in the garden. Then I'm going to show you how simple it is to replant it with a tomato, a beautiful coleus, and a plectranthus to help ward off browsing animals. So stay tuned for my progress. So as you can see, I've got matching pair. You can see the hose is right there. This is definitely the easiest area for me to keep watered, which is what makes it ideal for growing tomatoes. It's also right off my kitchen door. So I walk out of that area every single day, multiple times a day. So these plants will be noticed. So I'm just gonna pull out these containers and then get them replanted. Well, you can see this entire root ball came out as I intended. I'm, I'm working at like quarter mast because I'm still sick. And the one next to me, I didn't have the strength to pull it out and then I broke the root ball. But uh, that's okay. I'm gonna show you this one starting from a completely empty pot, how I'm gonna go about planting this for the summer. Now I've got my plants right here. I'm gonna grow one of my favorite um, paste varieties. This is one called Orange Icicle. This is part of the Breeze Picks, available at garden centers in the Mid-Atlantic. And first of all, I want to see how tall it is. So that's perfect. I'm actually going to plant it all the way in the bottom of the pot. And I'm just going to remove all the foliage from here down so that it will have the opportunity to root all along the stem. And that means that at this first, uh, first flower, that's actually going to be the area that is just peeking out of the, of the soil base. Okay, so I have the tomato trimmed sitting in the bottom and I'm trying to orient it a little bit towards the back so it's not exactly in the middle. And I am going to use this potting soil that I picked up at Lowe's. I wanted to use a product that everybody can find, um, that everybody can relate to, knowing that these pots right here are next to a hose so I can keep them watered. Usually I do all of my containers in straight soil cube, um, but for, the, for these pots I'm going to use this Stay Green potting mix. It does have some fertilizer mixed in. That's not ideal, but it's fine. I prefer growing organically and this is not organic fertilizer. But again, to make it accessible to everyone, and I'm just gonna basically fill the pot up with soil. Like that. That way the tomato is, you know, in contact with soil all the way up the stem. And now I can plant the other things in this pot. Now, this is not a large container, so I didn't want to overcrowd it. I think three plants in here is more than enough. And I happen to love coleus. So I thought I would do a coleus here because long term that's going to grow like that and it'll help hide um, the water spigot area. And then Plectranthus, which you might not be familiar with. This is also called the Vix plant. Plectranthus purpuratu. Purpuratu? Hmm, strange. Anyway, this I got from Colonial Creek Farm. You can visit them at colonialcreekfarm.com. And this is a great plant to act as the spiller. And it also has this really scented, strongly scented foliage, um, which I've been using a lot of Vix vapor rub. <laughs> um, it doesn't exactly smell like Vicks, but sort of. 
so I'm just gonna pop that in there. And the real advantage of that is that it will help ward off animals, like primarily deer that come in and nibble. And I've actually had deer eat tomatoes. So I always put a plecranthus in any of my containers where I'm growing tomatoes because it really is effective at keeping those deer away. Okay, well that was super easy. And now I am gonna grab a handful of triple shred hardwood mulch so that the container looks finished. I'll get it watered in and this summer planter is finished. Well, you can see how well the winter interest containers were rooted in. And the reason that I pulled this one out instead of just recycling it, well, for one thing, it's, it's really densely planted or it's densely rooted, um, but I really wanted to make sure that the tomato went all the way to the bottom of the pot as that's gonna help prevent it from growing outrageously tall. Now you might be wondering, what about caging or staking? So I'm gonna wait until the tomatoes grow a little bit larger before I decide to either cage or use a more ornamental thing to be able to train them on. The nice thing with orange icicle is that it's a semi-determinate. So it only grows about three and a half foot tall, unlike determinate varieties that can grow 15 to 20 foot. And that's part of the reason that I put this variety right here. On this side, I can also train it along the handrail so that's a little bit easier. Um, now fertilizing, because this uh, bagged soil had fertilizer in it, I'm not gonna add any fertilizer right now, but I will still um, drench these pots with kelp emulsion or fish emulsion once a month, um, probably starting in June. And that'll just make sure that they get everything that they need to be able to thrive for the summer season. So we are in the middle of May and these planters will continue growing until we have a hard frost sometime in mid to late November. So it's a really, really long growing season. So I always recommend when you do pots like this, like plan for some sort of mid season, um, either cutbacks or transplants, because honestly, in a pot this size, these things are gonna have to be readdressed at some point during the summer growing season. Well, I hope that you'll be inspired to plant some beautiful, bountiful containers in convenient, easy to access locations, like right here off of your entryway where you have easy access to a hose. That way you'll be able to take full advantage of all that these plants offer. Found this video to be helpful, please give me a like. Be sure to subscribe to the Breathe the Plant Lady YouTube channel for more practical gardening advice. Thanks so much for watching everybody.